Good afternoon from Brussels. Well, this afternoon the plenary session was addressed by President Juncker. In his address, he launched his white paper regarding the future of the European Union. In doing so, he acknowledged the depth of disengagement with the European Union project across Europe. He declined to accept where the blame lay for a European Union project that has been derailed by the European Union actions, by the lack of sensible and coherent action, or by no action at all. And despite his denials, all the five scenarios outlined and, con and which continue, uh, all they're going to deliver is an outcome of closer Europe with the emphasis on monetary union, overseas aid, climate change and defence strategy. So actually no change whatsoever. Effectively, there will be no deviations from the strategic scripts already in place and which are already the source of discontent amongst European voters all of which to date have produced all that the European Union claims are counterproductive and detrimental to the federal European Union project. In doing so, the nurturing of what is seen as threats will continue to prosper, sowing the seeds for further disengagement and discontent in a year, 2017, when there are some very, very pivotal national general elections. Now, Mr Juncker may claim to have read the mood of the continent, Yet citizens will not be offered the direct option via referenda to select their scenario of choice, even if that is the least of the worst options. Now, an inkling of what Mr Juncker wants can be found on page 25 within the fifth scenario, by the way. So take a look to see what he personally sees as the future for the European Union. In my view, and I say this with a huge regret, this white paper is simply a last gasp gasp effort to restore control, but just like the regret suited with the opening of Pandora's box, that time and opportunity has been lost. Now Mr Juncker announced he will retire at the end of the Parliament term. His legacy will be a white paper launched too late, too many words and lacking the focus or content that could pull the European Union back from the brink. Now I'm a Brexiteer, I'm somebody who's, who's campaigned, campaigned fervently to take the UK out of the EU. It's with immense sadness that I give this comment on this white paper. But goodbye from Brussels on the 1st of March. Thank you for listening.